Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm going to get some uh, mixed media messiness on. So I've decided on this big 4x4 photo of my boys. I was just walking behind them. They looked really cute holding hands as they were walking. And then I decided on these little mats that we also, these little um, cut files, what were they called? Anyway, there was a packet in the kit, so if you want to check out the unboxing video, you'll be able to see what actually they're called and where they, um, what other designs they were. But we got a packet of them, and I decided I wanted to use these little ones here with the cross hatch because it just reminded me of like mixed media layouts that got all this beautiful texture going on. So when I was looking for paper, I found this one here with this mixed media look on it and I decided this was going to be the one. So I just cut down that little piece of paper thing with the cross hatch on it and just cut off the edges so that they're all, um, it's like ripping the paper really, but it's so it doesn't have that neat edge border. I just pulled this one out here to see if that would contrast because I, but that's not going to work. Instead, I'm going to, I use this star one and I then as I was laying it like that realized I could use it as a stencil so I've just pulled out some silver texture paste so this is what I put in my mixed media little stash box to complement the monthly kits so that's in my prep video if you want to see what kind of mixed media I choose out of my stash to add to this kit and also why then that is all in that video so just putting it through the stencil there, it's just cardboard, it's not like plastic like a normal stencil. So you obviously got to be a little bit careful, but not as careful as like, you don't have to be careful. Like if you're thinking about paper, you're probably thinking you have to be really careful, but it's not that delicate. So I'm just having a little play with trying to randomly put it somewhere on the page so that I can put it roughly around my photo and have lots enough of it seen thinking that my photo is four by four size and then if I'm going to add any layers obviously I need a fair bit so just cleaning up my mat and my spatula put that star paper to the side and just letting it dry because it will still be able to be usable with that silver dried on it it'd be something fun something different so bringing it back here just to see if it is going to be something to work and then I turn my page around because the way the mixed media is sitting it sits a bit nicer to have the photo in this little area where there's no photo, um, no stenciled, no texture paste and I'm just going to pull out some papers. These are the Project Life printable cards that I'm just using. That way I don't have to cut in to too much paper. This is the second layout I've made with the kit. So I'm kind of a little bit less willing to cut into it. Although I've just used a whole sheet of it as the background. So I can't be that worried about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just roughly having a little play with it. Having a few layers of those cross hatch paper so that it's a repeating factor. And I'm just going to put that to the side and then do my layers. But then I thought, oh, what if I get out the Jen Hadfield glitter spray that we got in the kit? So I'm just going to give that a sh good shake. And then I'm just going to spray it over where the silver stars are. And that just gives it a highlight. And I really like, some people say gold and silver, it's just not right together. But I really like it. It's really fun here, I think. And... <clears throat> Because the texture paste is a bit glossy and shiny, it didn't like cover all the silver either. It made it sort of like resist it. And so that made a little bit of a difference as well. So working on my layers here, just piling them up, just using double-sided tape to stick it all down, including this little, the crosshatch pieces. So just going to have a play with having things that are, a vertical like bigger vertical design and then some that are horizontal like this one ripping these two so that there's another bit of texture to the layers and that's just fun and even this is fun to rip as well so just having a play with how it all goes together there's no really rhyme or reason you can see 
just move it around and have a look and then you work out where you want it it'll all work out in the end I figure so just trying to make sure it's not too big that you can see enough of everything but not too much that it you know overwhelms or it becomes huge on the page so I'm just gonna continue with this for a little bit it doesn't take much longer you don't need horrendous amounts of layering there we go and then I try to see if I'm going to back it with that because it's such a small cross hatch it's very hard to layer up without it taking away the effect it has when it's one layer so I don't end up putting it there it doesn't matter that I cut it because most likely I'll use it in the same kind of um, impact as well having it layered behind a photo like that <coughs> here's where I remember that I kept that star piece <laughs> that was already texture based on it to use as a layer so lucky I remembered pulling it out and on it goes just cutting it in half so that I don't have too much but also then I can use the other half for another layout so just putting it on my hovering it on my layout to see if it's the layers are big enough how it you know fits in with that mixed media background and it's looking good so on it goes and then I'm just gonna have a little play with finishing it so we can see here the backgrounds looking really good there's a few of these little off-cut pieces and I didn't want to waste so I'm just trying to figure out where they're going to go and this one here is going to layer underneath flat to the layout and then I'm gonna just continue I'm gonna make sure that everything's tidy so I've got a lot of these little the double-sided tape papers and I then I find this one so I, I tuck that in it's always good to just have a little tidy every now and then to make sure you're not forgetting anything that you pulled out to to put on your page or there's these little pieces here that will just go perfect other than otherwise they just get left you know left behind in your kit and as I'm just going to use those other those other striped colored pieces as well to have that layer coming out from the other side then that way it's a little trick it's like you've used a you know you've matted it from left to right but you haven't wasted paper by putting it underneath behind the photo for the whole length yeah so you can see there it doesn't take much it was just the you know that crosshatch paper and the star paper and then three little project life cards two were three by four and one was four by six and it just makes the layout makes all those layers come together really nicely so just fighting with those stickers trying to get them on where I need them where I want them and just trying to work out which ones I want so I put this one up here but then I it doesn't take me long and I move it because I f remembered that we had this cheap board pieces in the kit so I'm going to cover this one with my gold paint pen actually I cover all of them I originally get this one out and then once it's dry I put it on and then I get out some other uh, the other stars and I'm going to paint them as well so this is going to go here it's just a nice little texture grungy look as well and it just brings in those stars that were in the background for another another link so here's where I pull out the rest of the chipboard stars I think all of them or maybe nearly all of them and then I just have a play with how they're going to sit and so I like usually if I'm doing like a diagonal design like this I tend to have all the mixed media behind it in the same direction but I think it's really cool that the mixed media this time is going you know bottom left to top right but then the embellishments of these stars are going from the top left to the bottom right so did I say that right top so the mixed media is from the bottom left to the top right and the stars are from the top left to the bottom right pretty sure anyway you can see what I'm trying to say because you can see what I'm describing so just have a little play with these stickers and then I'm just going to add some enamel dots just in a little you know three I think enamel dots 
are nice as a three together, but also sometimes it's nice to have, you know, one or two and then some other kind of little sprinkly thing. But this one I just kept with the enamel dots. I didn't want to take away from all the things that were happening on the page. I just really like the simplicity of that mixed media in the background and then the chipboard stars that were painted gold as the embellishments. So this is my layout and hopefully you can see how it all looks in the close-ups that are coming up. Hopefully you're getting stuck into your monthly kit for April from the Kidaholic Kids because they are great. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.